Okay, so the car is still giving the traction fault that you may be seen in another video and it's making a lot of noise when you enter but it's driving fine and it's just because this uh, charging session at the other machine went haywire so it's funny that they first ask you to press something on the screen and then they tell you to push a button because at the other at Allego earlier I could not press the screen so you had to press the button here you can use the screen anyway it's very windy is this working I don't know ah it just connected so as you can see they're still free to use I'm not even sure where I am. Waterlinie Graven. So this must be Graven then. So I'm in the south of the Netherlands. With the E-Jumpy. The Citroën E-Jumpy. And... Uh, yeah, 64 kilowatts. That's also what I got at Allego. With 45%. Oh, but charging speed seems to drop already. There's a lot of construction uh, going on in the neighborhood. There you can see the Effa check machines. Let's check them out to see what they can do in the future. Yeah, so there are real HV160 machines. So that means that in the future, Maybe now they all uh, can deliver 160 kilowatts if you bring your Audi e-tron, for example. And here, actually, you can see these white plugs. I can feel a light buzz in the in the cable. So they are liquid cooled, as you can see, 52 kilowatts not um, yeah I wasn't driving fast it's cold outside it's more than half full so it's all uh, a bit unnecessary I'm just here to try but I can report that it works that it's free that in the future it will be contactless so you can just bring your bank card no problem so uh, Tango thanks for doing this it's a, it's a beginning. I would like to see, yeah, I mean, I can see this getting busy pretty quickly. You know, just think one year ahead, two years ahead. And um, yeah, there might be a queue. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe, yeah, maybe double the outlets for, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it seems that <laughs> so there's not much space left to actually uh, create another charging spot because there at the where you can get some air, I don't know if that that would be a bit tight. So, but here, I mean, this this could be used for one more charger, I guess. But I mean, yeah. Who knows? Thank you, Tango. Free charging, 53 kilowatt speeds. I'm gonna head home, I think. With the E jumpy, let's hope that the error goes away, even though you don't notice it while driving. There's just an exclamation mark in the display. Shall I show it to you? Or shall we see if it is going on still? Three. 400 kilometers per hour that is a weird report well you could hear the noise obviously 52 kilowatts i don't think that calculates to 400 kilometers per hour but i will check um but no that doesn't seem realistic ciao for now
So as I was doing some live footage, suddenly the charging stopped. So it was time for me to go anyway, but I didn't do anything and the charging stopped. So I don't know, but this is not the first time that it's happened to me, especially with this brand, but that it's not completely true because the other time it was a DS, but of course comes from sort of the same corner of the earth and fast charging doesn't seem a very stable thing that yeah it took me two tries to start the other machine which actually was the same type these portuguese if i check chargers i have the cooling over here so yeah i don't know what to think of it but i hope uh, the error in the vehicle will stop maybe maybe this is the sign that it will stop hey is that a very old leaf over there i think so but it's hiding in white between the Fiat 500. Anyway, it's busy here, but not with people charging for free on energy from, I don't know which source Tango uses. See you next time.